Hi sewing friends, I'm Karina from LiftingPinsAndNeedles.com Welcome back to this channel that is all about sewing, limitless sewing Excited to share this video with you from outside my backyard Grass freshly cut, it's been pouring with rain So I'm glad I get a little space where I can film outside Where it's nice and peaceful Thank you so much for all your comments of support and well wishes About my health, I am feeling a little bit better now But I'll touch on that at the very end of the video The important thing is that I'm happy to be back And I am filming this video in 80% good conditions Not like the last video I shared with you I've got three items to share with you today And two of them are for my son One is for me and it's using the the same pattern and um, by the same pattern I mean there is a version for women there's a version for men and there's also a version for kids and this is the game day jersey from love notions this is a collection it can work for the whole family it's got a lot of options for you to color block and make it look like you really want it to look if you are a fan of whatever sports team you can make it with those colors there are yokes both front and the back for the women's version you have a scoop neckline or a v neckline that is overlapped here onto that front yoke for the men you also have similar it's just a crew neckline a little higher and the same overlap V. For the sleeves you have length options, short sleeves. For the women's version you have also three quarter length and there are marks on the pattern pieces where you can sew in little stripes in colors right there. They all have a split hem and the back is a tiny little bit longer than the front. For the women's version you also have a dress length. The dress length has a center back seam with some shaping there. So there are subtle differences between all the versions but they are pretty much the same thing and you sew them all in the same way. To make these jerseys you can use a whole bunch of different neat fabrics from light to medium weight. I would stay away from heavy weight like Ponty. I think it would just be too boxy. And even the heavier cotton lycra, I would stay away from. It would just fall really, really boxy. So rayon spandex, modal spandex, bamboo spandex, athletic knits are the best. I've used a mix of different types of cotton lycra for mine and athletic knits. I think those are the ones that work the best. The sizing for the women goes from extra small to 5X. For men, it's from extra small to 4X. The difference there, the, the heights they drafted for. For women, it's 5 foot 5. For men, it's 5 foot 8. And then there's different types of ease. The t-shirt for the men has a little bit more ease than the, for the woman's version. And it makes total sense. The men's feet is a more straight fit where the chest and the hips are sort of the same just going up and down for myself I'm making an extra large with the standard bust option and for my son and he likes oversized he likes nice loose things he doesn't want anything slim fit ever I could have made a large but I know that he would be much more comfortable with more more room at the waist and hips just like he likes it but I also don't want his shoulders drooping down that much I don't like that he he won't tell you know so those are the sizes I've chosen it was released in 2019 back then I made one that had a little hack a little waist tie otherwise the features up here on the top were the same and I played with the fabric with a leather look side and an opaque side it was the same type of fabric so it's always really nice to revisit a pattern especially after not making it in a few years the game day jersey is the feature Friday pattern for love notions for today so the men's version the women's version and the kids versions they are all five dollars each for today friday the video i made in 2019 shows you in detail how to sew the overlap v neckband um, that goes attached to the yoke i go into real good detail about the seam allowance to get a really nice overlap there so i thought what better way to just relax into sewing and still enjoy it while not feeling a hundred percent than just sewing things I've already sewn without filming. So this is a sew and tell. In the last video you saw from me, I made the Thomas track pants for my son and my muslin version was a red and black pajama pant. So to go along with these pajama pants, I thought the game day jersey would be perfect to make a pajama top just to match and so he can have a really nice pajama set. The game day jersey doesn't have a long sleeve option. Now I could have I could have taken the sleeve and just lengthened it, but I was just trying to use up my energy in the best way. <laughs> so I got the dockside polo and Henley, which is another t-shirt pattern for men from Love Notions. And I remembered that one has a long sleeve version. So I printed out the size large sleeve from there, the long sleeve version, and I overlaid it over my sleeve that I had that was short. I matched it up with the arm size match, and then all the rest, I just copied all the rest of the sleeve going down from the dock side. That way I didn't have to think about the length. That much or the width you know I, I knew I was gonna get a really nice long sleeve and I borrowed the cuff that the dock side has also down here so that was the only change otherwise it was the same game, game day jersey my son looked at the liner and he was adamant I never want to wear anything with a v-neckline 
So it's a crew neckline for him. You know, maybe you saw him last week doing a little twirl in silence, but actually he's gonna show you the shirt now. He agreed to film for you and just show you in, in his own terms, zero sewing terms, how it looks. And yeah, let's see his t-shirt, pajama top. My name is Martin and uh, my mom made me this shirt, t-shirt, with long sleeves. Uh, it's called uh, Game Day. It has two different types of colors here, black and red. The two best colors after green. And then here we have these cuffs, these black cuffs. They're nice. And you have this, these slits in the shirt. I don't know what this is called, but it, yeah, it has that. Where it, and it, it uh, splits the two sides of the color. So yeah, that's the shirt. And I like it. So it goes perfect with the pants. I, I just can't wait until it's a little bit cooler so he can wear this pajama set. I think it looks really nice. And why not make your loved ones lovely pajama sets? He has a habit as well as I do sometimes of just sleeping with whatever t-shirt he has. And so I know that he has a really nice set now and I'm really motivated to make him some more. This is the first game day jersey I made my 15 year old son. It's black and red. I love the color blocking. It's got a crew neckline. I made the sleeves longer with a cuff. This is actually meant to match the Thomas track pants I made him a few days ago. It is a pajama set. I think it's lovely. The game day jersey is perfect as a pattern for a pajama set. Also a super lax one. I love this. So my son, when he was younger, he used to like colors, blue, red, whatever colors I used to buy him, he would wear. But he's, it's been years since I can actually purchase his clothes or choose anything. I just, I just can't. He's big now, he's 15. And he's on a phase where he likes a lot of black. He just wants to dress in black and it's a thing, you know, I'm not gonna go against it. So he wanted a black t-shirt, but I also wanted to color block. I wanted it to have something special. So similarly to what I did with the Thomas track pants where I chose the color blocking options, but I did black on black. I did the same with this next t-shirt. I used black cotton lycra, which is a really thin fabric. It's actually the same as the red one. I bought them together in the same shop. They feel the same, the only difference is the color. And I use that same denim look, cotton lycra, that I used on the track pants on the side. But this time I used it for the yoke and for the accent on the sleeves. That's it, it's a really subtle difference and I think it looks really cool. This time it has the short sleeves and here is Martin to show you the shirt. And uh, this is the other shirt. It's short sleeve, because the other one was long sleeve. Um, it has two types of fabric. They're both black, but I don't know if you can see it on the camera. But uh, yeah, here. Here it's like, I don't know, it's more rougher type fabric. And then here it's, I don't know, smoother. It has that also type of fabric that's on the top here. It also has it on the sleeves. Uh, this goes with the track pants that my mom made me. It's short sleeve, so it's more fresh. That's it. See ya. I really love the contrast there of the denim look jersey on the yoke and then the just regular cotton lycra. I have rib meat there on the neckline. It's been top stitched and I think this looks really nice. The split hem is also something that he hasn't worn. Like he hasn't bought t-shirts that have it and he liked it. This is my son's second game day jersey. Black on black color blocking, just two different types of cotton lycra paired with the Thomas track pants also. This is a really lovely black t-shirt that is not the basic black t-shirt. He's a split hem on the side. He really enjoys that and I love it. My son really likes black t-shirts and I'm glad I was able to make a special one.
I'm very happy. I rarely get to make him clothes. Does not let me photograph him. He hasn't let me photograph him in two years. He's in a little phase where he's a little agreeable and I'm gonna roll with it. And let's see if I can get some more men sewing into the channel. Although I know the views are super low when I show men's patterns. But I know there are a few of you who do want to sew for, for your loved ones. And you know, I can't be a slave to the algorithm the whole time. So we shall see if I can get more things done for him. I really enjoy sewing for him and he still appreciates everything I do. He, he just looks really happy when I'm sewing for him. So it's extra special. Now, a few days ago, I finished a capsule collection for active wear in blue tones. And I filmed a finale video, showed you all the combinations I did. And at the very end, I showed you a bunch of my fabrics in different red, grays and black tones where I wanted to sew another collection. Just another group of sportswear items that go together. So I've made the first garment into that red, black and gray collection and I've made myself a game day jersey. Now let me show you this. I wanted the red to be saddle. I have the yokes with gray. So front and back yokes are gray and so are the sleeves. I've sewn only one stripe here onto the sleeve. You can sew two. This is a really lightweight athletic knit and I wanted to use a tiny bit of it because I want to save the majority of it for a tank. I just took a little bit to make the neckband. It's overlap V neck neckline and I think it looks really nice with the contrast. Now sewing on these stripes is a little bit time consuming but very satisfying. I just cut the strip that's needed, that's an inch wide, and I just fold both ends and hand baste them on tediously and then sew them on. It, I do it all with a straight stitch and it does take a little while to do, but it's, what's, it's what it takes to get a really nice result. I've just got a simple hem with a twin needle and then I've got a really lightweight athletic knit on the bottom here for the front and the back. I have my split hem. Now because I want to wear this with leggings, I measured the pattern pieces and I thought the original length of the t-shirt was going to be a little short for me. So I added two inches to the front and the back and I added it at the hem. You know, it's pretty straight at the bottom that you don't have a curved hem. So you, if you want to add length there, I think you can. It just makes the side splits a little longer, which is fine. I still have the front. A little shorter than the back it's not a huge amount it's like an inch I wouldn't wear a t-shirt like this to go out with jeans or in general I would want this to work out and get sweaty in so it's really light it's so nice and I had a lot of fun sewing it especially because the gray fabric is from a t-shirt that I recycled my son did a cleanup of his closet the other day which is a miracle and he took out all the little things that he's not gonna wear I don't know how he had little t-shirts in there still and there were these little t-shirts that he was wearing when he was maybe 10 or 11. One of them was this gray and the fabric was amazing, wicking, lightweight. It's the type of material I just cannot find yardage to buy here. So I just tore apart the little t-shirt and cut out my, <laughs> my pieces. That's why you can see at the back yoke there is a cover stitched area. That's because the t-shirt had a center back seam that was cover stitched and I, I just kept that detail there. Let's see this one on. This is my game day tea. I did some color blocking with gray, black and a subtle amount of red. I chose the overlap V neckline option and I have short sleeves with one red stripe. The ease at the hips is super comfy. You can see the split hem here. It's a little longer on the back than on the front. My top is two inches longer than the original. On the video on my channel, you can see how to sew this overlap V neckline. That's really fun and is really pretty. I have gray yokes front and back. Here's a closer look at some of the details. This single red stripe on the sleeve was super fun to sew. I took my time with it and I love how it turned out. And I've really been enjoying sewing so my own active wear. This color combination here is one that I want to add on and make more pieces to match so I'm really happy to have started on this little project. Super fun!
hope this video has given you some ideas, color combinations. You can make pajama tops. You know, I could see myself making a nightgown with this. I think the fit is amazing. Basically, my pajamas are like dresses that reach above the knee. That's how I sleep year round. So this would be a perfect little gown for sleeping as well. Remember that they are all $5 each today, only Friday, Feature Friday, and I'll leave you all my affiliate links down below, as well as the video I made previously, so you can see how to sew the overlap V neckline, which is the most interesting feature there. Some water, thank you very much. <laughs> now, just, I mentioned that I was going to talk about my health at the end of the video, so this is it. I know a lot of people have gotten this virus, and it's not a huge thing anymore like it was two years ago but it was a huge deal for us in our family because we'd been dodging it for so long being super careful you know i have all the vaccinations i can get that are available to me i have them all and i still i still got sick i know in the grand scheme of things my case was mild moderate to mild i suppose i did feel pretty horrible and up to now I'm still not feeling 100% but just in the fact that I'm super tired and I feel I just feel more tired than usual I really want to get back to the gym but I know I can't go back there I think I'm gonna start maybe trying if I can go for a 15 minute walk or something something happened to me that I just feel a little bit wiped out still much less than I was in the last couple of days where I was taking like two to, th two to three naps per day and you know, all the coughing, all that's gone. I'm, I'm feeling much better myself emotionally, although physically I'm still a bit, you know. Anyway, I have really nice plans for this month. I know there will be less videos this month, but so be it, life happens. I have some really nice woven sewing coming for you, which I'm really excited about. I'm really excited to film specific techniques that I'm gonna share with you. These are the types of videos that could serve as reference for any pattern that you're sewing, so they won't be linked to a specific pattern, and I love making videos like that. Some really nice, unique designs with neat fabrics that I'm really excited to share, so, yeah, um, thank you, thank you so much. I read all your comments and it means the world to me that you're thinking about me and sending me all those well wishes. Yeah, it, it does really touch my heart and I'm very grateful for you all. That is all from me today. Have an amazing weekend and I'll see you soon with more sewing. Bye.